So in the past three months, just by enabling AMP, I've gotten more than 36,000 clicks from AMP non rich results. I've also gotten more than 13,000 clicks from just by enabling AMP. So in today's video, you're going to learn about how you can actually enable AMP or AMP on WordPress. And I'm also going to show you how you can enable AMP AdSense Auto Ads. So when you enable Auto Ads or by AdSense, you're going to be able to make more money. Google AdSense is going to place ads in your post automatically. So you won't have to do the manual thing. Okay, so and the requirements, the, the only requirement you need is a monetized site. And you also need AMP tester to test if your configuration, if your codes are valid. Okay, so what's the first thing to do? So the first thing you need to do, of course, is to search for an AMP, AMP plugin. So as for me, I already have a monetized blog. So that's exactly what I'm going to be working on. So this is my blog, Keith me so you have to do uh, click on add new plugins then search for amp amp when you're done searching for it install this one which is here okay so why am i suggesting installing this one well, this one is very light does not have a lot of bloatware or unnecessary features okay it's very simple and it's very much faster so in case you're wondering let me just try to show you how fast it is on my amp so let me just go to gt matrix so let me just type in my url and just add amp at the end and i'm going to click on test your site so while we're waiting for this to load let's try to do other things so the first thing you need to do is click on install and activate this plugin so as for me i already installed and activated this plugin so i want to be doing the same thing again so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to click on it which is somewhere here okay once you install and activate this amp plugin you're going to be welcomed with a page like this okay so i guess the performance test is now done let's check it out okay so as you can see the website is fully loading in 2.8 seconds this is very good because there is even ads on this page there's google analytics on this page but it's too fast okay so this plugin is very simple and let me just show you how my website looks on amp so i'm going to write in the same url and just show you how my page looks so most amp pages are viewed on an android phone so let's imagine this is an android phone or an iphone doesn't matter so this is how it's going to look like okay and there are going to be some ads of course okay so these are auto ads they're not that much a lot okay then there's the go to my menu bar here uh, and so on okay so now that you've seen the performance how base it is and the simplicity let's now continue so you're going to be welcomed with a page like this one so just ignore what's here simply come on and click on settings okay so um you can enable or disable doesn't matter it's up to you okay just enable what you feel like if you don't know but the most important thing you need to do is you have to disable this option when you activate amp for the first time this is going to be enabled this means that when someone visits your website from a form is going to be redirected to the amp version of your site which is a bad thing because not all pages are supposed to be viewed on amp so as for me i disabled this once you disable click on save we can as well change the amp url format as for me i prefer having it at the end if you prefer having it like in between you can do that it's up to you okay once you're done with this come to layout so if you, if you want people to be able to search on amp version pages you can enable this sticky header if you want people to be seeing your header while you're scrolling down you can enable this sidebar like the menu bar i just showed you you can enable it if you would like to the copyright text if you want to do this you can as well do it in the footer and so on okay you can as well enable post inside them date and author so you can just choose whatever applies to you it's up to you okay so i'm going to disable this okay so related posts you can add as many as you want as for me just choose three and i chose the algorithm by tag if you want you can choose by category 
it's up to you based on how you group your post okay so once you're done with this up you click on save settings okay so when you're done with the layout it's time to go for the social links okay so the social links uh, you can add in some if you would like people to follow you you can add in so as for me I only added my Instagram and my YouTube channel when I'm done you can simply click on save then analytics the one thing I like about this plugin is that you can add a lot of analytics easily so you can add Google Analytics Facebook pixel uh, Quantas Yandex Adobe a lot so it's up to you so translation if there are things you'd like to translate, yeah, you can do that just here. Okay, you can translate almost everything. You do not need a separate plugin to do all this. So you'll be able to do this easily. So notice bar, if you've got a promo going on, if you've got a money giveaway going on, or anything you'd like people to know, you can make use of this feature called notice bar. When people are viewing your, your pages, they're going to be seeing like a notification on top telling them what's happening or what's new okay this is also good if you've got traffic from eu users you can enable it and write in write in write in and click on save so as for me my traffic is mainly from africa so i don't think i have used for this but i might enable it soon okay i feel as if this thing kind of disturbs people like when they are reading then something pops up asking them to click accept i hate these things so structured data, this is so good if you're trying to rank your uh, AMP articles in search results. So for me, I only enable the article uh, schema data. Okay, then third party, you can as well enable this. As for me, I don't like it, only I didn't enable it. Okay, so now this is the first step of enabling AMP. So we are done with the basic settings. So what's next? So the next thing is to design our AMP uh, pages. So what we're going to do is click on appearance and click on customize. And the next thing we have to do is to add in our AdSense auto ads code which we are given. Yeah, so once the page loads, all you have to do is click on AMP WP theme. So the first thing you have to do is to change the header so you can choose what type of header you like okay whether having a logo a search button and the menu or this one over here where the logo comes in the middle so it's up to you you can as well add your own logo as for me i chose to have a text logo once you're done click on publish the other thing you can change or do is home page settings so you can choose how you'd like your home page to be whether to have your latest post or a static page like your home page so for me i chose my static page which is also my home page as my main page you can as well change the colors on your amp okay so as for me i chose black dark colors okay if you can also add your colors which matches your bam your brand is up to you custom css code only do this if you know what you're doing and now the last thing the important one is the custom html code okay this is where you'll be able to add in some adsense codes this is where you'll be able to add in uh, any codes you'd like to add to your amp page so now how do you do this so the first thing you need to do is go to adsense click on add then click on the amp is on when you click on this simply enable this once you enable this, you'll be given the codes you have to copy and paste. So the step one, you need to copy this code and it's saying copy and paste the script into the between the head tags of your site. So once you copy this code, uh, come over to your website, paste it in the head. This one is the first box over here. When you're done, come to step two. Step two is to paste in the body tag. So copy this code, go to your website and post paste in the body tag over here. Once you are done, click on publish. When you're done with that, don't just forget it's now time to test if everything is okay with your website. Okay, so this is AMP Tester by Google, which can help you test if your page is valid. 
okay if your page is not valid it will not really like show up in search results for mobile users so what i'm going to do i'm going to paste in my uh url my website and i'm going to click on test url let's see how it goes okay so as you can see the page is a valid amp page this means that it will show up in search results for mobile users and your traffic is going to increase so this is it about today's video this video is about how to enable my favorite amp plugin on wordpress and how you can also enable amp adsense auto ads and i've also showed you how much traffic i have gotten just by enabling this amp plugin and make money so if you enjoyed or learned something from this video give it a like for more videos like this subscribe okay see you in the next video tomorrow